Well, 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 if you're anything like me, the first question on your mind would be, do I need a new Z390 chipset? What if you already have an existing Z370 chipset? Is it backwards compatible with older Coffee Lake CPUs such as my deleted liquid metal 8700K? Let's find out what's so special with the Z390 chipset with the ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming 9. Intel has been doing CPUs for a very long time. They should know what they are doing by now, as should AMD. Also, motherboard manufacturers like ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, and ASRock have been present in their respected arenas are all guilty of one thing, making small minor improvements to already existing chipsets to make them further compatible with upcoming CPUs, memory, or even system stability. These improvements can come at software levels such as BIOS revisions or at a hardware level like Z370 to 390 jump like we're going to discuss here. Historically, this isn't the first time Intel has improved an already great chipset. They did it with Z77 to Z87. They did it with Z170 to Z270, noting that this practice is a refinement is a common thing for the rest of the industry. Generational gaps are always a stopgap for upgraders and gamers alike. We all want to stay with the most current technology, but most of the time it is not really warranted. So on paper, the Z370 and the Z390 seem identical, noted in the, this graph from Puget Systems by William George. Upon closer inspection, USB 3.1 support has been added as well as integrated Wi-Fi 802.11ac into the Z390 chipset. However, a lot of motherboard manufacturers already include a Wi-Fi variant model as well as adding in USB 3.1 support. So what's the pull? Intel 9th Gen CPUs still work in older Z370 platforms, provided that the BIOS is updated with Intel 9th Gen CPU support. Also, in case you didn't hear this already, Intel's 8th Gen Coffee Lake CPUs also work in the new Z370 platform as well. So the ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming 9, which carries the Phantom Gaming naming scheme, is also present in the company's AMD GPU lineup. Sleek lines, black PCB, gray and black heatsinks cover the Phantom Gaming 9's layout. Hints of red is also present on the chipset heatsink, but is also minimal and shouldn't impede on aesthetics of any build. RGB is subtle, having a small strip on the back I.O. shield, as well as near the audio section and around the Z390 chipset heatsink. The layout, which is important to any system builder, is also very good. Set up like a traditional ATX motherboard, the Phantom Gaming 9 offers 8 SATA 6 connectors, power and reset buttons, Dr. Debug LED, two USB 3.0 headers, one of which is a 90 degree bend to offer better cable management if your case allows. All RGB headers, one 5 volt addressable and two 12 volt non addressable are located neatly tucked away in the lower right hand corner. Four DDR dim slots are all blacked out with support for DDR 4266 and beyond if overclocked. Up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 is supported as well. The three PCIe 3.0 slots are reinforced with steel to help manage GPU sag and or droop. Also supporting two-way SLI and three-way crossfire slipped in between the PCIe slots is the inclusion of three Ultra M.2 PCIe NVMe slots. Also supporting the M.2 SATA 6 standard as well as Intel Optane technology. Keep in mind the bottom Ultra M.2 PCIe NVMe slot is the only one slot to have passive cooling heatsink, leaving the other two without cooling. Besides support for the new Intel 9th Gen CPU, the power delivery is backed by IR Digital PWM with a 12-phase power design, of which are premium 60-amp power chokes alongside dual-stack MOSFET combo caps. Cooling off the VRMs are two pretty beefy heat sinks with a decent-sized heat pipe connecting the two together, providing good cooling to the VRMs. The rear I.O. rounds out the layout, composed of antenna connections for the dual-band 802.11ac Wi-Fi with speeds up to 1733 megabits per second, a PS2 port, an HDMI 1.4, and a DisplayPort 1.2 port, optical SPDIF, three USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A ports, as well as one Type C, all rated at 10 gigabits. Three LAN ports are present, two with Intel Gigabit and one with ASRock's Phantom Gaming 2.5 gigabit LAN port. Lastly is the audio inputs, which is the Realtek ALC 1220 audio codec, of which gold input jacks, 7.1 channels, and with a built-in 120 decibel SNR DAC with a differential amplifier with support for Creative Sound Blaster Cinema 5. Overall, the Phantom Gaming 9 is a very aesthetically pleasing motherboard, as well as being very feature-packed. But how does it perform? Well, I hate to break it to you, but it performs just like every other Z390, Z370 motherboard. Coming in at a hefty 
$280 is quite a bit to spend on a motherboard these days. Even ASRock's Phantom Gaming 6 is almost $100 cheaper and I'm hard pressed to find a difference other than the relocated power and reset buttons. Being a top tier motherboard is great, but with Intel, 9 10 CPU is costing more than ever before, saving a cool $100 is a no brainer. With that, four to five flames. All right guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell on your way out. Blue Devil out.